when I started my master's, and in fact, all the way through my program, no one mentioned the concept of common factors. No one. CBT was the gold standard, the therapy of choice. The only one practiced in my program and also in my practicum. It wasn't until I took a job after completing my master's that I started to hear any talk about common factors. So what are they? Well, common factors theory proposes that different approaches and evidence-based practices in psychotherapy and counseling share common factors that account for much of the effectiveness of a psychological treatment. These common factors include the therapeutic alliance, empathy, goal consensus and collaboration, positive regard and affirmation, mastery, genuineness, and mentalization. Also, emotional experience, which is related to some of these common factors, is also found to correlate with improved levels of functioning. Some of you may have heard about the Dodoberg verdict, and this is a very controversial topic in psychotherapy relating to common factors. So this is the claim that all empirically validated psychotherapies, regardless of their specific components, produce equivalent outcomes. It is named after the Dodo character in Alice in Wonderland. The conjecture was introduced by Saul Rosenzweig in 1936, drawing on imagery from Lewis Carroll's novel, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, but only came to prominence with the emergence of new research evidence in the 1970s. So why am I talking about this all? Well, I think it's important because sometimes when people start, um, you know, graduate school or start a new job, there is often a way that's described to you about how good therapy should look. And sometimes that's a promotion of one particular type of therapy like CBT, or it's talking about other approaches as not being specific enough to help certain individuals. Well, when we talk about common factors, we're really looking at areas that these are sort of universal factors that will contribute to a positive outcome. And the suggestion here is, and again, I hope that everyone finds their own way of relating to them, is looking at those common factors and acknowledging how those factors can come into play across almost every type of therapy. So when someone says to you that, you know, narrative therapy is the only way of being or CBT, even DBT, all, you know, therapeutic modalities, which I enjoy taking part of, think about how these common factors might play out. Think about how you could utilize different approaches with a client. And as long as you accounted for these common factors, therapy could be a success. Just things for you to think about as you move forward in your career, through the textbook, through the course, wherever you are, consider common factors.